Beautiful here at Watkins Glen. Good old Rexy, man. Guys, don't forget, t-shirts and hoodies on sale now. Worldwide shipping, fan fiber, link below. What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Slab Train. Welcome back, guys. Forza Motorsport 6 here on this beautiful Saturday morning, man. I hope you guys are all enjoying your day. And if you want to see more Forza 6 career mode, do not hesitate, guys. Slap that like button. Now, we have went all the way up until the end of the demo, and we are here to show you guys some new stuff, man. We have already started out in the Super Street Volume 1. Here's the look at the intro trailer. For most of us, our first and sometimes only taste of racing comes on the streets. If you love cars, this is where it all starts. In the empty parking areas, and on the city streets where you race your mates between stoplights. We do this in the very first cars we owned, or the ones we saved up for later. Then we fiddled with the engines and the suspension until they went faster, and added stripes and stickers so they looked faster too. It's the same around the world. Whether it's on Japanese mountain roads, on Britain's back lanes, or America's super highways. We're talking about affordable heroes. Cars that bring performance to the people. Whether they're smoking around a parking lot or hammering along a city circuit you designed yourself. They aren't the most expensive, and they won't win every drag race. But they all prove one thing. You don't need a million dollars to have a car with a big heart. Yes, that is the roots, man. That's the roots right there. Oh my god. So, And we're going to start off this Let's Play with the Japanese Street Kings. Japan, home of the noble art of drifting. Made famous by cult movies, manga comics, and console games. All of which celebrated the street racers who baited cops with midnight runs through big cities before escaping to twisty mountain roads in their homegrown coupes, slithering to freedom in clouds of tire smoke. Yes! Oh my god, this game is so damn dope! And we have Richard Hammond coming back as a announcer or a cameo, if you will. Uh, really great to see him back in the game as a voice, man. Um, but we got to choose our first car for this series. And I'm leaning towards this CRX, guys. I really am. I think I think this is a necessity, man. We have to. But looks like uh, we do need to recommend upgrade. Okay, so we're going to go manual upgrade on this. And we need to go must not be greater than 500 now we're already at 440 um what do we got for tires on this thing we have streets already at 440 so we're gonna leave that the way she is 215s on the rear again this is front wheel drive 225s on the front should be okay um i am thinking about a racing transmission that'll bring us up to 451 uh drive line and the guys have a quick look at how fast these menus are these menus are money this year i cannot believe how quick they are in terms of transitioning are they faster than forza 4 i don't think so but they definitely are a lot faster than horizon 2 and forza 5 with all the legs and stuff like that now, i did talk about that in my hellcat build that i did do yesterday if you guys did not see that video go and check that out guys absolutely beastly and um i've been really happy with this game i really have for everybody asking you know slab what do you think we just went over 500 god damn it all right but 2,000 pounds. So the key for this though is I, I'm not going to put too much horsepower in here because it is a very, very light car. So if I can get away with, you know, what is it? 217? Oh man, maybe it's a little bit too damn low. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not, man. Maybe, you know what we should do actually? We're going to go ahead and take out the weight. Where to go? We're going to take out the weight. Again, wrong category. Oh my god. We're going to take out the weight in here and uh, that'll bring us, oh yeah, look at how much that saves us, man. Only for us, measly 200 pounds. We lost all that PI, so we're going to definitely wait on that. And uh, we're going to throw in some upgrades here. I'm thinking exhaust to start us off. Um, 13, what about the turbo? What do we got for this? Oh, jeez. That just boosts it up like crazy, man. Now, if I'm not mistaken, um, they have switched up the way that the PI does work. Because if I'm not mistaken, Horizon 2 and Forza 5, a 500 was an A-class. 
Let me know in the comments down below. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm pretty sure A500, man. I think that was it. So if it's not and they did change it up, they changed up them again, man. It's definitely a little confusing with all these PIs every single year. I'm just trying to get the best bang for my buck on this thing. Might as well go with the intake plus eight. And that's going to bring us up to a decent amount of horsepower. Um, there's not really much else I can do with this 501. The only other option would be maybe valves. No, 503. Ignition? Nope. Fuel system? Nope. Okay. Okay. Nothing then. I see you. Now what we might as well do is throw on some lighter rims. Get this thing a little bit lighter because I think we should have... Yeah, we're going to be floating right on the line here. 499. So that's doable. I'm down for that, but we just got to find a good damn rim though. There we go. Done. All right. So, with that being said, I would like to paint this thing, man. Can I throw a quick paint on this, please? I want to make it blue. If you guys don't know, I did own my own CRX. Same damn car, man. I just wish I still had it. Unfortunately, guy blew through a stop sign on me, man. Not a, not a good day for the fans of the Rexy. We're going to go ahead and paint this thing really quick. I just want to uh, throw a different paint on the body. And that is about it. Where's those blues, man? There it is. Oh, my God. There she is. The Rexy lives. All right. Actually, you know what I need to do, though? I'm going to black out these rims, I think. Uh, we're going to leave them. We're going to leave them. Save the current car. Much appreciated. Now, as I was saying with the wheel last episode, I did change up some of the settings on the wheel to make it feel a little bit more uh, fluent, if you will. I did take off the spring and the dampener on the control panel of the PC. Not on the game, the PC. I want to be very clear about that. Uh, but it does seem to work very, very well in terms of what we needed it to do. Uh, there's no kind of hesitation when you get to the middle anymore and kind of like jerks itself. So I was really happy about that. Where are we driving today? Watkins Glen. Oh my god. New track for today, guys. Now I have been given the green light to do some career mode. Uh, not too much of it, of course, but we do have that green light though, man. So I'm really excited. The series takes place at Watkins Glen, a course that favors powerful vehicles that can make short work of its steep elevation changes. Okay, okay. Honda CRX, I think, should be a perfect match for this track. Nice and light. Nimble, you know what I'm saying? We got a good old Turbo B16 underneath this bitch. And I do like, though, because the Forza Vista, you can actually see the B16 underneath the hood of this car, man. It's absolutely crazy. We're going to have to get to that a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, man, it's nice to see all the detail that they did put in this game. It's absolutely fantastic, man. Here we go. Look at that starting grid. Oh my god, I got goosebumps again, man. This is a realistic simulation that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. Oh, hell no. In the assists menu, you can adjust these settings to experience the full depth of this simulation. Lady, I don't want no damn assists, all right? All I want is to make sure everything's good. Oh, yeah, okay. They got it right. Appreciate it. What do we got for driver tire difficulty? We got it on pro. Next one is unbeatable. So we're going to go on pro. Uh, I just always find myself just not being able to keep up to the unbeatable. Hence, unbeatable. I mean, you can. I'm not saying that it's not possible. But it is definitely uh, a little bit tougher than the regular cars. I'm going to just throw that down a bit. Um, ride height's really the only other thing that I want to touch. Look at that, man. 7.5 inches off the ground? Jeez, that's terrible, man. But you know what I do want to do? Is just bring up that height just a slight bit and just make sure that it's on par with the back. Just keep that base, you know what I'm saying? It'd be perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see what we got for mods since we got them, right? Why not? 20% braking, 5% power. That's a rare one, man. That's a super rare. I did get that. Um, that was nice. Suggested line and cockpit camera only. Hit the objective to earn 20. Uh, you know what? We don't need any of those right now, man. Let's just start the damn race. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at her. Oh, my goodness. Rexy in all her glory looks beautiful. Listen to that B60, man. I want that VTEC. Beautiful launch. Woo, take in everything here on Forza 6, ladies and gentlemen. Unbelievable. 
Oh, coming in hot though. Damn. Gotta say, I've been really impressed with this game, man. Really impressed. And if you want to see more Forza 6 career mode, don't forget to slap that like button. Like I said, we're going to be doing the whole thing, man. Gonna let this coast. Don't touch this thing, man. You know how rare this shit is? Got the whole JDM front clip and everything. Cut the gap, excuse me. That front wheel drive, man, that understeer. Can feel that rear end though, just wanted to kick out. Just like that. We should stiffen that up for next race, I think, just to, you know, tighten those bolts up a little bit. Trying to make our way in to podium contention. Six, fifth, here we go. Come here. Mr. Wolf, what's good? He ain't breaking in our face though. Ooh, these brakes are money. I gotta say though, the driving has improved so much more than Forza 5, man. The control, everything about it just feels right. Oh! We got it, we got it. Still a clean lap too, man. What do you know about that life? Here we go. We're coming for that podium finish, man. We got one more lap left. Final lap. Banged the gear right out there by accident, and we're going to the outside. Damn, man. It's all right, though. You can usually catch them on this little chicane area here, or S corners, whatever you want to call them. Come on. And we're slowly reeling his ass in. Get a good gear change up here. We should be good. Ooh, we're bagging it. Drive a car went way outside. Don't do it, man. Guy's coming right back into the road. We're sliding this thing. I went to go left foot brake. That was a bad idea. man getting shaky nice and easy on that throttle though and we should be good come on baby girl bring me home we may even be able to chase down this second I don't know it looks doable though That VTEC though, man, I really do. You can hear that thing kick in right at around six grand. Oh. I want to catch his ass, man. Ooh, we're coming, man. We are hunting right now. If we had one more lap. I think we would have been good. I really do. Unfortunately, just not in the cards. But we will come in fourth place, old man. Our third place, respectable. Can't go wrong with third, man. Look at that. Beautiful. A little bit of paint scratches. That's okay, though. That's okay. We did get 10 grand on that. Driver level. Give me some bonuses, man. Here we go. Damn, they go up slower than I thought. Infinity level for Honda. Big thanks, big thanks. Damn, man. Challenge series, race one completed. Three races remaining. Now, like I said, though, um, I do definitely want to uh, 
tune up that rear end, just kind of tighten it up a little bit. And let's have a quick look at this replay, man. The replays on this game are astounding. They are absolutely breathtaking seeing this many cars on the track for the first time in Forza history. I mean, this is crazy, man. There's what, like 24 cars on here? Oh my God, just imagine online. Online is gonna be absolutely ridiculous, man. It's gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to get some online races, online drifting going. Oh my God, man. Look at it. We even got the headlights working as well, too. Beautiful. Beautiful here at Watkins Glen. Good old Rexy, man. Oh my god. Let me know your thoughts of Forza 6, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Coming in hard on the braking. We did a lot of our passing on that inside lane right there. A lot of them like to take the outside on here. We are Your back to Sebring. In heavy rain at Sebring International Raceway. Racing well, on a wet track poses several challenges. Tires lose grip easier during cornering. Braking distances are longer, and deep puddles accumulate, causing a risk of hydroplaning. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't play the demo. <laughs> you know, I hope she doesn't say that for every single rain one that we get, man. I'll be turning her off real quick. All right, I gotta get a cup of coffee for this one, man. In the rain? Like, are you serious? I don't think I was ready for this shit before we started up here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and... Gearing, I felt, was perfect. There's no need to change up the gears at all. Uh, cornering felt good. So again, I don't want to change much of that. It was just the springs, man. The springs and the roll bars was about it. It just, it was just way too damn loose. It was coming out everywhere. Uh, so I think that should do it, and hopefully that does not take away any of our damn perfect lines that we had. I'm going to go ahead quickly just up this differential to about 75. Uh, let's go about 90. Um, I just felt like we didn't have enough power off the line. You guys can see that when we started off. Just wasn't there, man. All right. Got a good cup of joe in us. Let me know what you guys are eating, drinking. We're in the starting line of Sebring, though. You better damn buckle up your seatbelts. There we go. Oh, wait, never mind. It's raining. Never mind. We got damn wheel spin. Maybe we should have damn taken off that differential. Look at this. Woo! I have no idea what to expect. We are all over the road right now. go oh we already got one spilling over there I will be happy if I can at least finish this damn race man thankfully we're in a front wheel and not a rear wheel drive we are moving up the pack though we got puddles I don't like seeing that shit that's my phone not yours don't worry about it we're gonna probably break here a little bit earlier. Man, this is scary! I'm hesitant to break. Oh! I'm so sorry, man! Hitting a fellow VQ owner, my bad. Here we go. I try to take this man on the outside. Oh, there's a puddle! Jeez! I totally forgot about those puddles, man. Those big ones, anyways. Those are massive. Those will suck you in. We got a guy on the outside of the track. What's he doing? Did he just give up? I have no idea. Woo! Coming in hot. Oh, man, we followed that Celica. Son of a jit. Oh, hell no, man. Come on, baby. Get out the way, Subi. Now the biggest thing though is you can't be following people's lines, man. You've seen that right there. It'll just take you into the rain, right into the grass. Oh, man. Driving cars in this game are a little bit iffy, I've been finding. Either they're there, they're great, or they're shit. Look at this guy! I'm gonna try to take the inside on here. 
Everybody likes to break on this corner, man. I'm just full throttle through it. Oh! Gotta say, man, the force feedback on this game is substantially better from Forza 5. Here we go, here we go. Let's open up this thing. Insane, man. Nothing but fog. You can see the fog rolling off. Just puddles everywhere. We got this. Look at this, man. We are money through here. The CRX is beasting out here. Oh my god. Taking over third or fourth, sorry. Coming to get third is what I meant to say. Mr. Sir. Spawny Lee. Oh! Jeez! Who put that puddle there, man? Come on, come on. I'm not taking another third, man. I want first. I want that first place, man. As long as you're easy on that throttle though, tires don't start spinning. Oh my god, we're in the dirt. That's not good, man. That dirt will kill you. We'll go sliding for days, man. Oh, what a beautiful day, man. We have to be definitely careful breaking up here. Usually I like to break before the 300 just to make sure that I don't get into any kind of trouble, especially on last lap. Those things just stop us? What the hell was that? Like ran into them. Come on. We are chasing right now. Oh my god, water. Jeez, man. That's scary when that shit happens. Long haul bronze. Don't know what that means, but we got it. Oh! is a handful in the wet. Jeez, look at that puddle, man. Just took us right out. Oh, we gotta do it. We gotta hit that rewind, man. Have to. Stupid puddle. We're staying clear from that next time. That Subi took it. But again, that's a Subi, not a damn CRX. You know what I'm saying? Jeez. Here we go. What are we in? Fourth? Probably. Nope, we're in fourth now. Alright, we're going to try to stay clear of this thing. Uh, just a bit. We got her, though. We got her. Come on. Push. It's pissing through to go right through the damn block. I hope these guys slowed up a little bit on this. This is where I get in trouble. This is where I want to catch up, and I start overshooting every corner possible. Woo! That is pretty much going to be about it. We're going to be finishing here in third place. Unless these guys have a catastrophic failure up ahead. Hopefully spin out, hydroplane. I don't know. It will be dope to see that, though. I don't want a hydroplane. They can, though. Oh, my God. Are we going to possibly make this? Come on, baby. That 350 back there wants some of it. Not today, sir. We're coming in hot. Woo! Look at that sideways action, too. 245. Not too shabby for third place. We're taking podiums out here, man. Another 12 grand. Unfortunately, that first place is tough to get, man. Especially when you're finishing that back in the pack. We're going to save those wheel spins for a wheel spin drifting build episode. Yes, I know, man. We're doing it. to drive some of the world's fastest cars in events that highlight what makes each car special. Okay. You have unlocked your first showcase event. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to finish this episode off of our Forza 6 career mode. I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. If you have, slap that like button. Show me the support in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more career mode, make sure you guys let me know, man. This has been a lot of fun here. 
playing some Forza 6 early. Huge thanks to Turn 10 for making this happen. Huge thanks to you guys for coming around on this Saturday. And don't forget to check back in at 4 o'clock for some top 10 drifts of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, your boy Slab Train. I'm out. Peace. Welcome back guys 